Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. The new Nikon mirrorless full frame cameras, they're coming. There's been a lot of talk about them. We've got expected announcement dates now. Um, but we've got some new uh, rumors. I guess they're not confirmed yet on camera specifications. This is over on Nikon Rumors. I just saw this. Um, there's some interesting ones here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which one really stuck out to me. Actually, which one kind of I, I don't like, which is the, it's kind of for me the first negative that I've seen, read, or heard about the camera. Something I was really hoping wouldn't happen, but it, if this is true, then it's it's my first nitpick with the camera. Um, here's the features that they're reporting. Over 400 AF points. Um, should be somewhere between 430 and 450, they said. AF is supposed to be very fast, and I would expect that from a pro full-frame uh, mirrorless from Nikon. Uh, rear LCD screen is tiltable, just like the Nikon D850. There's a second LCD dial on the top of the uh, LCD screen, sorry, on the top of the camera. And uh, my understanding, there's only one selection wheel on the top of the camera. Uh, I can now confirm that the new 24 to 70 will have a f4. So it's not going to be an f2.8, which is fine. As you know, I like f4s. I really like the 24 to 120. Um, f4 VR for DSLRs from Nikon. I like the 24 to 105 from Canon f4. Uh, so this doesn't bother me in the least. Uh, and then it says it's got an 8K specification, but they think that mean it refers to time lapse. They don't think that's 8K video. Uh, and most likely no built-in flash. And the potential names, a Z300 or a Z500. Not confirmed at all. Uh, so... Interesting new specs. Uh, actually, two of them kind of stick out that I don't like. One is the one that really sticks in my craw. And I don't know if you guys have guessed it already, but the second point they said, the rear LCD screen is tiltable just like the Nikon D850. Now, I love the D850, but to me, that was one of the downsides of it. These companies got to stop making flip-up screens. You've got to go to full vari-angle LCD screens. Once you've used a full vari-angle LCD, you don't want to go back to something else. I don't buy the argument that they're more fragile. I've never broke one myself. I don't think I've ever even seen anybody break one. It's They're solidly made. I got one on the G85 right here here um, I just it needs the very angle is so much more versatile so much more usable and that's what should have been or should be on this camera I shouldn't say should have been because we don't know for sure that this is true I could see Nikon doing that I mean they did put a tilt up on the d850 but I that was one of the things I didn't like it should have been a full swing out very angle LCD so I'm hoping that's not true if it is true it's my biggest uh, point of contention so far that I've heard about the Nikon mirrorless. And so far, everything I've heard has been great. The other thing that's a little less uh, important to me, a little more minor, was the fact that he said, his understanding is there's only one selection wheel on the top of the camera. That, uh, you know, that's kind of a nitpick. I do prefer to have two. Obviously, I've shot with many bodies that don't when you get smaller and lighter. And lower down the food chain, you tend to lose both of those selection wheels. But it is kind of more of a pro feature, and it's certainly welcome to have both selection wheels. In other words, one that's dedicated to shutter speed, one that's dedicated to aperture, instead of having to toggle it. Um, so to me, that's kind of a negative, but it's a minor thing. To me, the bigger issue is the lack of a full very angle screen. I'm hoping that's not true. Not a deal killer if it is true, but it's certainly, I think, a design flaw. I think it should have been a full very angle LCD. Other than that, everything still sounds good. I'm still very excited about this camera. I want to throw it back to you guys, though. Are you guys, uh, when you saw these, did the same thing stick out to you? Was something else um, stick out more to you? Is there something positive you saw in here? To me, everything sounds good except for these two things. Well, what do you guys think? Are you not happy about the tiltable screen? Like myself, would you rather have a very angle LCD touchscreen? And what about the lack of the extra selection wheel? To me, it's a minor point, but I would have liked to have two. But I want to know what you guys have to think or have to say, have to think. What are you, what are you thinking? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let's discuss it. Uh, a lot of interest in this camera, a lot of interest in the new Nikon mirrorless full frames, a lot of interest from existing Nikon shooters, from people that were thinking about going to Sony or somewhere else uh, and have been holding off, maybe even people that have already moved and now thinking about coming back. Let us know in the comments below where are you at with that and what do you think. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Talk to you soon. Thanks.